Alan, what pleased you most about today's performance? Um, I think uh, the most pleasing part was uh, the second half when we sort of took a grip of the game and didn't really open the game up and was disciplined with the goal that we had uh, and tried to look for another. And then in the last period of the game, just, just seeing it out really, it was a nice disciplined performance from us. Is the key to it, uh, the, you know, the success you've had today, the fact that everybody understands the system and you can shuffle things around, you can put Ryan Taylor in a more central position and, and you can still get done what you want to get done? Yeah, well, you know, we do a lot of work on the training ground to, uh, to make sure that everybody's comfortable where they are, but you still need, you know, your players to carry out the, the mission, to, to, so to speak. I thought Hatan made a big difference when he came on. He gave us that little bit of uh, flair and exuberance that you need in a player. Um, and then they it, it put them on the back foot a little bit and changed the emphasis because the first 20 minutes, we, we could have been a goal behind. After that, um, I thought we were good. We talked before the game about the need to step in you know, from some of your players to fill the, the void left by Denver Bar and as well Chick Teote. How did Danny Guthrie and Leon Best do? Well, Danny, I just see him with the champagne, so he must have done OK. Um, you're the judges of that stuff. Uh, for me, um, they both uh, were terrific. Best he got the goal. I think it was his only shot today, but that's what he shows in training. Is it your really... team's only shot, maybe, on target? Well, it don't matter if you win 1-0. That's uh, sometimes a manager's uh, best result. Clean sheet today. You know, and when you're winning 1-0, you're going to have scares, and I can't think of too many scares we had at the end of the game. So it takes us to sixth above Liverpool, and we're very pleased with that. Do you start changing your ambitions as a result of where you are at this stage on, and that points total you're on? No, I said in um, my press comments on Friday, I think if we can manage to get a couple more wins while the guys are away and then they come back, then we're going to get a really big boost and, uh, uh, and then we'll see what we can attack. At the moment, um, we're in touch of 40 points. That's your first hurdle as a premiership manager, who, no matter who you are get that under the belt and then we can look forward. So if you're in good shape when, when those guys come back, possibly a, a, an outside chance for a European place, you think? Yeah, for sure. You don't play 21 games and be sick for no reason. It wasn't about today. It's been about the whole season. A great attitude, the training ground and on the pitch. And uh, that's why we've, we've got the results we have. Final couple of thoughts. Is there anything pending on bringing any players in to help the ones you've got here? Because this transfer window is open. It's silly season. <laughs> Always makes me laugh, you know. You ask players to run themselves in the ground, and then you, you ask me a question to replace them. Not so, to replace, to add to. Oh, to add to them. Okay, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, not adding at the moment. Was Eden, ha Eden Hazard at your training ground today, or was that the craziest rumour of January so far? Well, I know that player, uh, and if he wasn't my training ground, I wish I was there because he can play. <laughs> um, he's too expensive for us.